Welcome to a Sandstorm Productions tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to send your video footage to Adobe Media Encoder and from there encode it for different formats such as YouTube and iPod and such. So let's take a look at the footage that we'll be encoding. This is um, a video trailer that I shot. It's 1080p but we're no reason to show it that big. People ask me what's reminiscing. Reminiscing is my thoughts, my dreams, and what I expect in life mm -hmm. to come. Premonition. Like, by definition, it's like what it means is like. Uh, okay, this is the footage that we'll be using. I've already compressed it out once just so you can see it play smoothly. So let's go into Adobe Premiere and get to work. Okay, the first thing you would need to do is have your project open, like such in Adobe Premiere. You want to make sure that your sequence is highlighted so that you export the proper thing. Once you have your sequence highlighted that you want to export, then you would come up here to File, go down to Export, Media. It's telling me that some of my footage is offline, which that's fine with me. For the purposes of this tutorial, it doesn't matter. Then it's going to bring up your footage. Here you can preview your footage to make sure that you have the right footage and everything is in within the right ins and out points. Okay, you can automatically <coughs> preset your sequences here and the match sequence, the export sequence settings. And then you can come down to queue. Now, when you send it to your queue, it's going to automatically open Adobe Media Encoder, like so. Now, when it comes into Adobe Media Encoder, it should come in with the format that you had originally wanted to export. But instead of exporting two and three times, you can simply hit duplicate. It will du duplicate your video, come to presets find the presets that you want iPod video because my client would like it on his iPod now the cool thing about Adobe Media Encoder is that it works in the background so you see how right here it's saying that you have a minute and 30 let's say 30 seconds until the queue automatically starts this is in case you export things and you forget to start your queue Adobe will go ahead and start them for you so let's see we have our two different files here I'm going to highlight this one. Oh, I'll cancel that. Because this is the one I want to start with first. Then I'm going to hit Start Queue. As you can see down here, it will tell us about approximately how many minutes we have to take it since I've done this before. I know this is a, about a two minute clip and it takes about 10 minutes to code for your iPod. And after that, you'll have a green arrow right here in your statuses that indicate that your operation is complete. And from there, download to your iPod. For the next tutorial, hit me up at sandstormproductions.com or check us out on YouTube at, sand at YouTube Sandstorm Productions.